as I get more and more involved in the world of martial arts, particularly the world of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, MMA, stuff like that, I'm starting to see a trend that, honestly, it kind of disturbs me a little bit. And it's that people are so ready to put their self-worth into their performance or their outcome as a jiu-jitsu player or as a martial artist or as a competitor or whatever. And uh, I just don't think that's very healthy. A lot of people are are like slaves to jiu-jitsu instead of letting jiu-jitsu work for them and enhance their life. They get all wrapped up in it and it pulls them away from the things that are actually important to them, like their family or their career or whatever it is. So, you know, as you get more and more into jiu-jitsu, like it should be serving you better and better, not pulling you away from good feelings about yourself. So like if your feelings of self-worth are tied up in how you did at this tournament or how you rolled tonight or whether or not you got your black belt yet, you're going to always be disappointed because you're looking for validation from the outside. Instead, think about why it is that you started to train martial arts and started to train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in the first place. For some of you, that might have been because you wanted to be the world champion, but I didn't sign up for that reason. I didn't even really recognize the fact that there was jiu-jitsu competition to do. I thought it was just I was going to be learning the thing that they do in the UFC. I thought, oh, I want to learn the thing that the Gracies were doing. The Hoist Gracie was choking everybody with. I want to learn that. I want to get in better shape. And so as you progress and get better and better, your reasons for training have to like shift with you. You understand? Like it can't be just that you're constantly striving to be the best because eventually, unless you train at like Atos HQ or like 10th Planet Headquarters or Alliance HQ in Atlanta, someplace like that, eventually if you just keep showing up 10 years, eight years, you're probably gonna be the best dude in your gym. Then what happens? You quit? That's okay, you can do that if you want but there's so much more to gain from it. So if you're just striving to be number one, either you get there and you're disappointed or you don't get there and you're disappointed. So why are you training? Like, you know, Joe Rogan says that the martial arts are a vehicle for self-improvement. It's so true, man. You know, I was really lucky. I started training martial arts with this guy named Jamie Webster. And I appreciated him then, but as I get older, and not that I'm old, uh, you know, how oh, you ain't old yet. Okay, I'm getting a little older and I'm a little more seasoned than I used to be. And as I get more seasoned, I appreciate Jamie's outlook on the martial arts more and more and more as time passes. That the martial arts are about making you a better you. They're not about becoming the king of the mat, like... Just a few people even have the potential to become the king of the mat. These are the guys that would be, you know, world champions in whatever sport they set their sights on. You know, they would have been a, a great basketball player. They would have been a great football player. They would have been a great wrestler or a Brazilian jiu-jitsu world champion or whatever. But most of us, myself included, we were never going to be that. And that doesn't mean that I can't become great. I think I'm pretty good. And I think that you could be really, really good. You could be a black belt. But I'm never going to be Andre Galval. I'm not willing to do the things that Andre Galval is willing to do to his body as far as like hard work or whatever else to become Andre Galval. I want to spend a lot of time on my kids. I want to have a really successful and thriving business. I want to play my guitar every day, you know. Um, I just am looking for health and like mental well-being and the intellectual challenge that comes from jujitsu. Now, you don't have to do it that way. It may be something else entirely for you. Maybe it's just a stress relief, or maybe it's something, you know, to do with like your mental state, whatever. Maybe it's an anger release. I don't know. But don't get your self worth tied up in it, because as soon as you do that, you're going to start finding unhappiness there rather than happiness. So I just wanted to give you guys a little encouragement. Train hard train every day, become more than you are now, but don't lose sight of who it is that you are and who it is that you want to be.